This Alexander Calder inspired work of art, this painting, started out with some black shapes that I cut out of black paper. They're organic shapes and they're pretty simple. After I cut them out and glued them down, I also drew some uh, straight lines that intersect, creating some geometric type shapes on the bottom half of my paper and that helped me to have some shapes that I could paint in different colors. I tried to use a lot of red because I remember Calder's favorite color was red. And this painting looks an awful lot like some of Mr. Calder's sculptures, his mobile sculptures. Hope you enjoy making one. 12 inches by 18 inches. I'm gonna make a drawing inspired by Alexander Calder's drawings, paintings, and his sculptures as well, his mobile sculptures. The first thing I want to do is make a separation between the top of my picture and the bottom with an arcing line. Something simple, but it doesn't have to match that exactly, but, but some kind of a line to break up the top and the bottom. And now I get to make some geometric lines. One, or two, starting up in the upper half of my page, I'm just going to do straight lines that are either diagonal or vertical. Now the third word here, we've got a curved line, we've got a straight line that is diagonal, and now intersecting lines are another part of this. So some of my lines are going to go straight down and whenever they cross that's called an intersection and now I've created two of these triangular shapes I'm gonna do about five six maybe seven different lines and they can come way up here next I'll take four or five of these black shapes to create organic shapes that match the flat pieces to the calder sculptures. I'm going to make these shapes uh, large and organic shapes. They don't have to be terribly huge. There's nothing perfect about them, they just need to be simple shapes. Here's one good shape. So I've glued down my five or six organic shapes. Those are large and simple shapes, and they're in the upper half of my paper to represent some of these wires that Calder would use and create his sculptures with these big flat portions there. Now, the last part here is painting. And down here in the bottom section where I have all these different straight edged shapes I can paint different colors in there. We know Calder really loved red and he loved blue. We could also add in primary color yellow to this combination or maybe some green but a pretty limited color panel is a really good idea. 
just like always, I've got a paper towel with a paintbrush. I've got these temper cakes. They are dry, but I squirted them with a little bit of water to get it start to activate those paints. I've got a little bucket of water here. And these work a lot like the dry watercolors that you have in your pan paints, where you have to sort of wake up the color with water and a brush, and you sort of tickle it, and the paint comes alive. Since Calder liked red, I'm going to begin with red. Let me put that in some good spaces. Thank you. 